so good evening today we are going to see about the two types of signals that is one type is called periodic signal and another type is called non periodic signal so we are going to today class we are going to see about the periodic signal periodic signal second one is a periodic signal you know well about this because in the type of uh, in the type of the si system in the type of the signal uh, these are the two types of signals one is an periodic signal and an e a periodic signal not only this two types but we have more types but in this today's class we are going to see only the periodic signal and a periodic signal so what is a periodic signal so let us see what is a periodic signal so in that in that word itself we, we can uh, we can uh, identify that periodic what is mean by the periodic we will have a continuous with a pe equal periodic of time that means so it start with uh, it start with a 4 means again you will get it as again the 4 minus 4 4 again minus 4 like that it will get an periodic value it will not changes um, it will not changes in other other wave form like that so one more thing it the way the wave form of the signal is in periodic only it will not change the time interval if it continues with the 4 it will keep on going with the 4 only so it is called as a periodic signal uh, as the name is a periodic signal it does not have an um, it does not have an uh, same interval of time it will have a different interval of time okay so this is called as an a periodic signal and a periodic signal now you can understand what is a periodic and a periodic signal one more time i am repeating the periodic signal as it's the word means that the there will be a repeated time interval uh, for whole for all the signals but in the case of a periodic signal the, there won't be a repeated uh, time interval okay this is called as a periodic and a periodic so first of all we can see the definition a signal a signal is said to be said to be periodic when the signal should be uh, when should when the signal is be periodic signal so it if gets repeated repeated for every finite every finite interval of time every finite interval of time it is called as a periodic and one more thing uh, and one more thing and we can say this if the x of n is equal to x of small n plus the capital n the small n means the values of values or the values of the values of n so val the n of the values or values of n Okay. so if the condition satisfies this equation x of n is equal to x of n plus 1 when it is equal to when, when it is equal so we can call it as an periodic signal okay and what how will be the periodic signal means if it is in continuous signal already you know what is continuous signal and what is a discrete signal normally the signal is divided into three types so one is in continuous signal another one is in digital signal another one is a discrete signal okay so digital signal discrete signal and continuous signal first of all you you want to know what is a continuous signal okay so when you having a continuous interval of time it is called as a continuous signal okay you know already what is a digital signal it means that you will get then zeros and ones value so if this is a one and this is a zero and this is a one and this is a zero like that you will get a digital values that means a binary value it is called as a digital signal when you are going for the discrete signal it will it will act uh, it will act like a particular time interval like this like this the particular time interval it will um, it will have a process this is called as an 
discrete time signal okay so in our in the in the in the subject we are only concentrating on the discrete signals okay not a continuous not a digital and we are going only the continue um, discrete signals okay so it will uh, it will process at the particular interval of time likewise uh, there will be a sequence of numbers one two if the one is a process it will processing and then there will be some gap and the second thing is that uh, again when they having the second process there will be some time interval and it will act as um, then it will do the process and the third and fourth like that it's keep on going on the processing this is called as an a uh, discrete signal so in this in our periodic signal because in our subject digital signal processing you know already what is digital signal processing so if you want to do some if you want to convert your signal analog to digital you have to go for the digital signal processing why we are going for this digital because uh, for example we are in the traditional age what we have did is uh, if you want to measure that um, temperature or if you want to measure that pressure these are all things is with the help of analog signals so nowadays the the technologies had uh, have uh, had a wide um, tech have a wide thing uh, to overcome that analog thing as and digital you know already digital is zeros and ones so it um, it changes the revolution like uh, changes the analog to digital if you want to convert your analog signal you can use the digital signal processing you can sense the information or you can say you can send the signal uh, to that um, digital signal di digital filter it will convert into the uh, digital signal processing and and you know one thing what is a signal and the signal you know already the signal is nothing but it will carry the information from one place to another place this, that is called as a signal you know very well about the signal right so signal is nothing but it will it will carry the information from one place to another place so in our thing in our subject we are taking the information that means we are taking the information from one place to another place with the help of digital signal processing here we are only we are taking the analog signal and converting into the digital processing because for the more accuracy and for a more efficient result we are going for this uh, dig uh, digital signal processing okay now uh, so i have gone for a lot of uh, basics things and we have uh, we just continue with our periodic signals the periodic signal is said to be periodic if it gets repeated for every finite interval of time so already i said the if you're having some like in a four has an height of this uh, waveform so it will keep on goes with a four so that is called as an periodic signal then uh, when this when the problem have to satisfy this equation that means x of n is equal to x of n plus one when it is equal when it is equal we can say it as a periodic signal and then we are going for the um, a periodic signal okay now what is a periodic signal what does a periodic signal so already i said the signal is said to be when it is said to be a periodic means it does not does not repeat okay it does not repeat at definite definite interval of time definite interval of time okay so a periodic is nothing but it does not repeat the when the signal is to be a periodic means it does not repeat at a definite interval of time now we are going now we are studying about the discrete signal so i can give you example for discrete thing for example like this it won't be an repeating interval it may be like this way okay this is called as an a periodic signal and when and uh, how to satisfy so in the mathematically how can we say this uh, with this relationship in a periodic means x of n is equal to x of is not equal to x of n plus n so n plus n for all n, n. okay so a periodic is nothing but it does not repeat any at any fine any a uh, definite interval of time it does not follow any interval of time it will have a random values so and mathematically we can say that a periodic signal is x of n is not equal to x of n plus n for all n values now we are going to do two problems or three problems in how to check a periodic or not okay first of all we will check the answers so first question is check whether the given signal are periodic so check whether 
the given signal the given signals are periodic or not so we are take, going to take a simple problem and i'm going to give you some explanation about the problem okay x of n so we are have we are studying about the discrete value so our our denotation would be x of n and if you want to do it in x of t that is called a continuous signal if you want to say it in x of n it is called as an uh, discrete signal okay x of n cos pi by 4 n plus sin pi by n okay this is a question so we want to find we have to find out for the separate terms okay this is one term and this is one term so uh, we we first of all we will see what is in the first term i am taking the omega is equal, um, omega 1 this is omega 1 and this is omega 2 i am taking that uh, the, in the value of n is pi by 4 okay we know already that so we know the already the, uh, the formula for omega 1 is 2 pi f1 why i am mentioning one because i am taking the term one so i have mentioned here as omega is equal to one so i am taking here as a 2 pi fn one is equal to pi by 4 we know already this formula we have learnt in the uh, in that uh, before class so now i have taken directly the 2 pi fn f1 divided by 1 by 4 so now we can take it uh, we can take it the formula so 2 pi f1 is equal to pi by 4 so f is equal to 1 by n i have changed here 2 pi by n so we are denoting with the first term as a 1 so i am putting 1 is equal to pi by 4 so in the next term what i am going to do so for making this n1 as a smallest integer i am multiplying the m1 m1 is a multiplied okay so i multiplied with this term so 2 pi n1 into m1 because the term is m1 and why i am multiplying this m means the i am going to make this n1 as a smaller so i am going to multiply it by 1 by 4 so sorry so we have to put the pi so see this pi and this pi will get cancelled and this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and you will get it as a 2 and here is a 1 so what happened here is m1 divided by n1 is equal to um, 1 by so m1 divided by n1 is equal to 1 by 2 so here therefore m1 is equal to 1 and n1 is equal to 2 without getting the pi values if you are getting the constant value like 1 and 2 it's said to be an periodic okay this part is an periodic and now we are going to do it for the second part is a sin n okay sin n so sin n how to take the omega value so the n is if there is a no number you can take it as a 1 so omega 2 is equal to 1 we know already 2 pi f2 divided by 1 and what is the formula for f2 is equal to 1 by n2 so 2 pi 1 by n2 is equal to uh, 1 and for making this n2 as a smaller so i am multiplying pi 2 pi divided by n2 into m2 is equal to 1 and so what happened is m2 divided by n2 is equal to so i bring this number to the left hand side as a 2 pi so what happened is the m2 is equal to 1 and n2 is equal to 2 pi so if the number which combines with this pi value will not get an uh, periodic signal so it is called as an aperiodic signal so so i think i hope you can understand this thing um, we can do the next uh, more problems in the next for coming classes yeah thank you